for a day with Jean and Grace today. It's a nice, calm, kind of dreary day, but it's uh, about 70 something degrees, 70, mid 70s, I think. Rained last night. And I've been working with the baby colt so much that I haven't been giving them an opportunity to drive. So I just thought today would be a good opportunity to get them out and just let them drive for a few minutes and just get a little bit of energy out. And we're going to cut through this pass in the field right here. And a squirrel up there jumping across. Step, step up. I don't like that squirrel. Step up. drive around out back it's real pretty back here we got a lot of deer back here just before rut so not really seeing anything uh, deer wise today which is good and the last time we were back here we got spooked by that fawn we're just gonna stop talking and let you listen to the sounds of them driving enjoying getting out and just getting a little bit of exercise harness grace up and she just kind of went to sleep just knew that wearing her harness she knew she was going to be standing for a minute of course grace or jean rather was all lamped up and ready to go jean's on the right grace is on the left We're on a slight incline so jean looks bigger and she is a little bit bigger, but she's really bigger now because we're on this incline. Grace going to fertilize a little bit. I think Grace might be in heat. back of my farm. You guys really don't ever get to see this too much. Mostly just use this for hay. For this part right here, we're going to redo in hay. Cut a bunch of it out and sprayed it all and been harrowing it. I don't have it finished, but it's about 75% Herod. Looks like we got some ferns coming up in it. Little drizzle coming down on us. It's actually pretty comfortable. And the girls surely don't mind it. When we were heroin, we got a lot of rocks up, pulled up a lot of trash, a lot of tree roots, 
hopefully we'll get a good stand of grass back here or a good stand of hay for next year. One more pass and turn them to the right up here and take them back down to the back where we were. Come back out. Normally go into the woods right over here and uh, you see the opening in the woods where we go, but I had a cherry tree fall across the trail and got me completely blocked. So I got to cut that. Clear that trail. So that's typically where we go in, right there, to get this over to the dirt road. And the girls are kind of wondering why we're not going in there. They're kind of on autopilot and they just want to go right in there. Get up there, guys. left the babies up in the uh, barn up there and they were whinnying when we left. They're used to being with Gene and Grace already. And being Gene and Grace are in a motherly type situation. Grace is more motherly to them than Gene is. Step up, step up. Um, Gene is, uh, can kind of be the cantankerous old stepmom. Grace is pretty motherly to him. Titus has kind of teamed up with Gene, and Max has kind of teamed up with Grace. Just a good fall day for a ride. Gene and Grace, I don't think, are real excited about it anymore. They kind of got the freshness off of them, and they're kind of in just slow and steady mode. just become an old hat to them. It turned out to be a really good team and they're gonna be really good at working with the Colts and getting them broke in a couple of years. And then they're looking over, they wanna go back through that cut and they're wondering why I'm not letting them go back through that cut where the squirrel was. So we're just gonna go down here to the end and we'll turn around and head back to the barn. Got a hole up here, I gotta worry about them stepping in, so. Armadillo hole. woods straight ahead they drop off down into a bottom and there's a creek down there and a lot of big deer down in there and they come up out of that creek bottom and they follow these woods right here in front of you and they follow them all the way down to the left and pop out right below the horse barn and then cross the pasture into the woods where I showed you where we go in for a drive. There's 
thinking they're going to go back through that pass. And Jean's already trying to turn their head and go that way, but I'm not letting them. couple of days I'm gonna head up to South Dakota and get the new wagon I was telling you about last week. I'm gonna go up and spend some time with my buddy that actually uh, fold these horses. We're gonna go up there and do a little bit of driving on the new wagon and I think we're gonna spread some manure do a couple other things, so that ought to be pretty interesting. A little bumpy here because we're going across the furrows. Right, we're going to head on back up to the barn. So they're out of the barnyard. They're back in the pasture. They're underneath the hay shelter, getting a little treat. And that was just a quick little ride. And I hope you guys enjoyed going with me this week. And as always, remember who you are. Be kind to those around you. Stand up for what you believe in.